Welcome to another quick tutorial from Polycarbon Games. In this video we are going to show you how to quickly create a gradient glow shader using Unity 3D's shader graph. Make sure you have the HDRP or the LWRP packages installed. Ok, let's get started. First thing you are going to do is right click in the project folder, and go to create shader, and unlit graph. Now name your new shader any name you want. Then double click your shader, to open shader graph. Next we are going to create a new node, we are going to look for the gradient node, you can type it in the search bar and it should pop up. Next we need to grab ourselves a sample gradient node, you can type it in the search bar and it should pop up. Take the output of the gradient and connect it to the sample gradient. You will notice the gradient node is white by default, click on the default gradient color to change the gradient to whatever color you want. Next we need to make sure it tiles, so we are going to go to the UV shelf and look for the node, tile and offset. Then we are going to need a split node. Connect the output of tiles and offset node to the split node's input. Then we want to connect the split node to the sample gradient's time input. Now we want to create our blend nodes, you can just type in blend in the search bar and grab the blend. Now let's connect the sample gradient output to the both of the base inputs. You can create a third blend but it is optional. I made a few adjustments to my gradient color. Now let's create another blend node. Let's go to the far left and create a vector one, this will control the emission properties, basically how much it will glow. We will name it emission. I set the default value to 5 so I can see the glow. After that grab your emission node and drag and drop it into the node area. Connect your emission node to the blend input of your third blend node. Then connect your second node to the base input of the third blend node. Create a saturation node. You can right click and search for saturation. Then we want to take the output of our third blend node and connect it to in 3 of the saturation node. Then let's create a vector one to control our saturation node's intensity. Name it saturation and hook it up to the saturation input. Connect your saturation node to the unlit master, in the color channel. I set the default to 1 to get rid of the black and white. Next go to the top window and save your shader. Now you just created your own shader with shader graph. Now let's see it in action. Then create a new material and rename it to whatever you want. Then click on your new material and go to your inspector and go to the shader drop down menu and look for the shader graph section. Your newly created shader should be in there. Drag and drop your new material onto your game object, make sure you have your post processing set up like Bloom so you can see the effect in action. Then go to your game view to see your new shader in action. You can adjust your parameters in the inspector. Thank you for checking out our tutorials. You can support us by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. 
you can also donate to our Patreon. Your contribution will help us make better tutorials and game design content.